fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our Pacific Surfliner train, and we're going to be building the Siemens SC44 Charger Locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. The first step is to take a dark oak stair to be the coupler, and we'll attach it up on the end of the train. Underneath that, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate, and then dark oak fences on either side of the coupler here. Then turn around on the next block down, three polished deep slate stairs right side up in the middle. Above the stairs, two rows of three gray concrete, and then on the corners, a warp button on each side. On the sides of the gray concrete, two right side up stairs. Same thing on this side here. Once we have that done, we're gonna come around in front of this on bottom, and we're gonna take out a polished deep slate wall. We're gonna skip one block forward from it, and we're gonna put two rows of five polished deep slate walls coming across the rail in this rectangle pattern. Then in front of that, we're gonna skip to the third block in front of it, get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then a three by three of gray concrete, and another right on each rail again with an end rod axle. Then we're gonna put dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and also into the ends of the wheels on this side here. Next, take out a polished deep slate stair on this gray concrete on the side here, upside down facing that way, and upside down facing the opposite way on the other side. Same pattern over here, then in the middle, a right side up, outward facing stair. Same thing on this side here. Then on the second layer, we're gonna fill in the top middle three with gray concrete and bring that forward to the end of this truck. Just keep it coming here and we'll stop above where the fence gates are. Now take out stone brick blocks and in front of this, we're gonna put three of them coming up the bottom middle, and then upside down outward facing stone brick stairs on either side of that. Above it, a three by three of stone brick blocks. Then on the outside edge of this, we put a brewing stand, a warp sign, and a player head. Do the same thing over here, a player head, a brewing stand, and a warp sign. Then we're also gonna put a player head on the sides of each of the wheels on the side of the truck here. And we'll do the same thing on this side, so a player head on the sides of these wheels. Next, come in front of this, on bottom, we're going to put a temporary block here, and we need to get an upside down polished deep slate stair on this outside edge, facing backwards. Delete the temporary block, and extend this out so it's five wide, all facing backwards. Then we're going to switch over going sideways and we're going to put another nine stairs upside down going sideways. Then in front of it, we'll put five stairs upside down facing forward here. And then we'll also fill this in nine blocks long with upside down outward facing stairs to frame in the bottom of the fuel tank. Then we're going to come in front of the fuel tank here. And we're going to switch over to stone brick blocks and put three of them up on bottom coming up the middle and three upside down stone brick stairs facing outward on either side of that. Above it a three by three of stone brick blocks. Then on the side a brewing stand, a warp sign, and a player head. And we'll do the same thing over here. Player head, warp sign, and a brewing stand. Now move down to the back of the fuel tank. And on top here, we're going to put two gray concrete on either outside edge. Then we're going to move in by one and put two rows of three in the middle. Then back out to the outside edge and fill it to the front on both sides with gray concrete. Next, we'll swing in front of this, skip a block forward from it, another right on each rail with an end rod axle. Then a three by three of gray concrete. And another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. 
then an upside down, forward facing polished deep slate stair on either side, right side up outward in the middle, and upside down facing the other way on the back. Same pattern here. Then we'll put a player head on the sides of each of the wheels. Then we'll swing around up top here and fill the top middle three down this truck with gray concrete. We'll stop above the wheels real quick and open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels and three more gray concrete across the top of them. Then we gotta come back here, open a dark oak fence gate into the end of this wheel and into the end of this wheel. Coming off the gray concrete, on the second level, two outward facing upside down polished deep slate stairs on either side, gray concrete in between them, three gray concrete across in front of them. Then on the next block forward in front of that on bottom, we need to get three polished deep slate stairs coming across the bottom middle. Above it, three gray concrete, and then an upside down polished deep slate stair facing outwards on either side of that. Above that, a gray concrete on each side and three upside down forward facing stairs in the middle. Then an item frame on each of those gray concrete blocks. Swing around behind it and we're going to go end to end on both sides on the outside edges with gray concrete. Once that's done, we're going to fill the middle three end to end with iron blocks. Next, we need to make a banner, so get out a loom and come into it. We're going to use a red banner and blue dye. Make the top half blue. Switch to black dye, put a black border, and then a black plus shape. And then we'll put these banners in these item frames. Then take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to that second block. Delete the one we used for placement. Underneath it, put a dark oak fence gate. And then also open dark oak fence gates on either side of this coupler. Now come on top of the front here, put five blue concrete across the front here. Then one above it on each side. Then. We're gonna put a crimson button above each of those item frames. Above it, a glow item frame with glowstone on each side. Then we're gonna put two rows of three black wool on the middle here. And then on either side of that, a forward facing andesite stair. Then a warp sign on the bottom middle of this black wool. Then we're gonna swing around behind this here put an andesite block behind each of the andesite stairs. Turn this way and another forward facing stair on each side. Three light blue stained glass blocks across the middle. Come around behind it, an andesite block on each side behind the stairs with a white stained glass pane coming off the sides for rear view mirrors. Then behind that, we're gonna do two light blue stained glass blocks on each side and then a blue concrete behind the windows on each side. Then on top above the andesite block, another forward facing andesite stair on each side, three polished blackstone stairs across the middle. On each side of the polished blackstone, we're gonna put a warp sign with our locomotive number, which is gonna be 2111. Same thing on this side. Then we're gonna come down here with a warp sign in the middle of that blue section and we're gonna type out Surfliner. Then we're gonna hit all three of those signs with white dye and then a glow ink sack. Then in the center of the black wall, a glow item frame with glowstone for the headlight. Now on the bottom of the side here, we're going to extend a row of smooth quartz blocks to the end of this section and we'll fill in all the rest underneath here with blue concrete. We'll do the same thing over here. So a single row of smooth quartz blocks and fill the rest with blue concrete. 
Behind that, on bottom, we're gonna knock out this block, put in a polished deep slate stair, and above that, two upside down dark prismarine stairs. We do the same thing over here. Knock out this block, a polished deep slate stair, above it, two upside down dark prismarine stairs. Then above that, a warped door. Same thing on this side. Then, on each side behind it, we're gonna put three smooth quartz, and then raise blue concrete up to the top of the door. Same thing over here. Then we're gonna take out iron bars and put a column of four iron bars coming up on each side of this doorway. And of course, we'll do the same thing on the other side. So a column of four iron bars coming up on each side of the doorway. Then we're gonna come up here under this side view mirror, put on a warp sign with our locomotive number, which again is 2111. Hit that with white dye and a glowing sack. We do the same thing on the other side. So a warp sign under this mirror with 2111. Hit that with white dye and then a glowing sack. Now we'll swing around behind this here and we're gonna come on the bottom of each side we're gonna put a single smooth quartz block, then two blue concrete, and then a bedrock block. Then behind that, three smooth quartz sticking out. On this side, blue concrete to the top. On this side, we're gonna do two rows of deep slate tile walls, and then blue concrete on top of that here. And I just realized I got carried away with blue concrete, and we have to edit this here. So we're going to come above the smooth quartz. We need to knock out the block that's one block back from the iron bars. Put in a smooth quartz, and we're going to make this C-shape and fill it with smooth quartz. Then we'll do the same thing exactly parallel on the other side. So knock this out and make the C-shape and fill that with smooth quartz. Then we need to take out all of the blue concrete that's behind the C-shape here. And we're gonna replace that all with andesite blocks. And we'll do the same thing here. Behind the C-shape, take out anything that's blue concrete and replace it with andesite blocks. Once we have that done, we'll move back behind it and continue on. On the bottom of each side, we're going to extend out a line of smooth quartz blocks that's going to be seven blocks long. And same thing, seven smooth quartz over here. And then we'll fill it to the top on both sides with andesite blocks. Same thing over here, fill this to the top with andesite blocks. Behind that, two smooth quartz blocks on each side, and then a two by two of iron bars. And then two andesite blocks above it. Behind that, a smooth quartz on bottom of each side, and a column of three andesite blocks. Then behind that, we're gonna do a column of four iron bars. Same thing over here. Behind that is smooth quartz on the bottom of each side. Two iron bars above it. And a site on top. Same pattern here, so a smooth quartz. Two iron bars and an and site. Then behind that, two iron bars on bottom of each side. Then a two by two of andesite blocks. Same thing over here. Then above that, two iron bars. Then a smooth quartz on bottom, two iron bars, 
andesite on top. Smooth quartz on bottom, two iron bars, andesite on top. Then we're going to do a column of four iron bars. Same here, four iron bars coming up. Now behind that, on bottom of each side, extend smooth quartz all the way down to the end. Same thing over here. Then on this end, one smooth quartz on each side and a warp door in the middle. Then we'll move back up here by these iron bars. And in front of the iron bars, we're going to put a column of three and a sight on each side, coming up to the top. Behind that, a column of two andesite, and a bedrock on top. Then, a smooth quartz on bottom behind that. We're actually going to knock out this one in front of the smooth quartz and put in a blue concrete. Same thing right here. Then a blue concrete above that smooth quartz. Then behind that, we'll bring andesite blocks down to the back of the locomotive and over till it meets the door. Same thing on this side. Next, above that, we'll do a layer of blue concrete, bring it down to the end, right across the top of that door, and up the other side. Then on the end of the back, five blue concrete coming across, one on each side, then a bedrock on each side, fill the rest of the gap with blue concrete. Same thing on that side there. And I'm not liking how this looks, so we're going to move this back by one. So knock out that block, move the smooth quartz back by one. Move the blue concrete down here back by one, fill that with andesite. Knock out these two, fill that with andesite. We gotta do the same thing over here, so knock out those two, replace them with andesite. Then, knock out that, put smooth quartz there, blue concrete here, and andesite here. So it moves that stripe pattern back by one block. Then up here, we're gonna take dark prismarine stairs out. We're gonna put a forward facing dark prismarine stair on either side above that last blue block here. Then we'll extend blue concrete down to the back and around the back and up to this stair. Because this version of the SC44 has this little aerodynamic piece that sticks up on the back to line it up with the top of the cars. Then we're going to come forward with outward facing andesite stairs all the way up the top side of the locomotive here. And bring it all the way up to the front. We'll do the same thing here, outward facing andesite stairs. And bring that all the way down until it meets the dark prismarine stairs that we have on the back here. Just like that. Next, we'll come on top of the front end here and put three black wool across the front. A conduit on each side for strobe lights, crimson button in the middle. Then take smooth stone slabs on the bottom hip box, three coming across here and two on this side. Then a two by two of andesite blocks up here and a polished black stone button. Then a three by three of andesite blocks. And on the back two of each side, we're gonna put levers going into each other for antennas. Come behind it, and we're gonna come on the upper hip box of the second block down, a three by three of smooth stone slabs. Then we're gonna take out warp fence gates for the horn, put three across here and open them, come around behind it, three across here and open them the other way. Behind that, a three by three of andesite blocks on top, two iron trap doors on each side of the back of it. Behind that, another 3x3 three three of andesite blocks, three iron trap doors up the middle. Then, a polished black stone button in each of the corners of that. Then we'll move on behind that. We're going to do a 5x3 of andesite blocks. And then five iron trap doors up each side of that section. Behind that, 
we're going to do a 6 by 3 of bedrock. So this whole section is like a big vent that's filled in. Then we're going to cover the top of the entire bedrock section with stone pressure plates. Behind that, we'll put three andesite blocks coming across. Then on this side, two bedrock, and then a two by two of andesite. Polish black stone button on either side of that gap, and two on the end of the bedrock section. Behind that, we'll put three blue concrete coming across the middle, and then we'll actually do another row of three blue concrete. Behind that, we're gonna put two rows of five dark prismarine slabs across the top. Then behind that, we're gonna fill this all in with a three by five of blue concrete. So this aerodynamic piece meets the top of the car behind it. Now we'll detail the back end here. So on the side down here, two iron bars, then two iron bars on each side of this door, and two iron bars on this side. Then on the second blue block up on the outside edge, a warp sign with the locomotive number 2111. Same thing on the other side. We'll hit those both with white dye and then a glow ink sign. Then on the next block up in the center, a glow item frame with glowstone for a rear headlight. Then a crimson button on each side of this andesite stripe. Now we'll come on the side here to do the logo. And one block back from where this vent section is, we're gonna knock out a row of five. Replace that with blue concrete. Above it, in the center, a warp sign. We have to do our logo like this because we don't have enough room to spell it out with banners. Then we'll come over here, one block forward from this iron bar vent section, and we'll do the same thing We'll knock out a row of five here, and then we'll fill that with blue concrete, and we'll put a warp sign in the center above it. Now the entire outside's done, and we're gonna work on the interior. So we'll come on in through the door on the side here and start working on the cab. Take out smooth stone slabs, a row of double slabs under the window. On the next block behind it, start filling in the floor with slabs, and we'll keep bringing it back here. We're gonna come one block behind where the door is. Then we'll come up here, turn around, two blast furnaces on either side, and a door in the middle. Then we'll come up here, three slabs on the upper hitbox here, two glow item frames with end crystals, a lever for the engineer. Turn around here and put a seat on each side. Then we'll put a torch on each side behind the windows here to light the cab. And we'll move on to the next compartment. So come through here. We're gonna take out polished andesite stairs and make a staircase coming down to the bottom. Then we'll take white shulker boxes and we'll put three coming out on the side here, raise it up three high, and then two in that corner. Same thing on this side, so three white shulker boxes, raise three high, and two in this upper corner. Then behind that on bottom, three blast furnaces on either side. And then we'll put three grindstones above the blast furnaces on both sides. Behind that, we're gonna do quartz brick blocks and a column floor to ceiling, skip a block and another column. Over here, a column floor to ceiling. Then a two by two of blast furnaces and one more in that corner. Then we put an end portal in here for a toilet, put a door on it. A door right here as well. Then a two by two of quartz bricks up here. Come through here. We're gonna put two quartz bricks to cover the top above the bathroom. Then on top in this gap, three sideways end rods to light this compartment. And we'll move on to our next compartment here. This is going to be the engine room. Back here, we're going to take out quartz brick blocks. And in this column that's between the two sets of iron bars here, 
we're gonna start framing in a doorway, put a door in, and fill in all above it to the ceiling. Then in the middle, skip one block back from the door, four sideways anvils. Then above that, we need to get four blocks of redstone. Then another row of four anvils above it. And then we need to get another four redstone in the middle on top of that for the prime mover. Then we'll take out polished blackstone button and put four on each side of this here. Then we need to light it, so on the top we're going to put a full row of horizontal end rods going to end to end in this compartment. Same thing on this side here. Now the engine room's done and we'll move on to the next compartment. Skip one block in front of the door, a deep slate brick wall, then two smooth stone blocks above it, two glow item frames with end crystals on it. Then we'll do the air filtration system. So we're gonna put a row of five acacia logs up the center, and we're gonna raise that all the way to the top, making sure the pattern goes vertical on all of them. Then we'll skip one block behind it with quartz brick blocks, frame in another door, put a door in, and fill it to the top with quartz brick. Then we'll light this section, so same thing on the top outside edge, a full row of horizontal end rods going end to end on this compartment. And then same thing on this side, a full row of horizontal end rods up here. And then we move on and we'll do the final compartment here. So come in here, on each side we're gonna put two floor to ceiling columns of quartz brick. Same thing over here. Then we'll go ahead and come up the center on top with a full row of horizontal end rods. Then on bottom of each side, four blast furnaces facing inwards. Then on each back corner, we go all the way to the top with a column of brewing stands. Then we're gonna put three hoppers here three hoppers here, and then above the hoppers, we're going to put three grindstones coming off the wall. Same thing over here. And there we have it folks, we've completed our Amtrak Pacific Surfliner Siemens SC44 Charger locomotive. And this also completes our entire Surfliner train. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.